Hello everyone, this is a Ultalia game experience in which I'll try level by level to explain some stuff or some uh, thoughts or some builds or anything in general. They have three diamonds into platinum so it's not like I'm against silver or gold and I didn't want to do that in ranked because I want to focus more on the talk and less on the game because it's quite hard to do both at the same time. I'm also a little uh, cold my uh, neck hurts so I will speak either lower or I don't know it might sound weird but uh, you'll you'll, learn. you'll survive I guess so first I'll close some apps in the background wait let me just because I need higher FPS and wait 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 okay oh yeah and also we have a troll I'm not sure which one but I don't care because this is a tutorial type of video and win or lose is not that important so okay I'll go the Aurora Rely build the classical one and we can also go to Doran's Ring and uh, Hextash Proto Belt and then Rely but everyone uh, likes his own build and I don't know now there's also discussion between Hextech and Road of Ages and uh, I'm still choosing Road of Ages for some reason probably should choose the other one so basically I'm against our Leon soul and honestly I think it's the first or second time since I played the Leon playing against this guy because reasons okay this guy already spent half of his mana uh, basically at level one what's wrong with this guy though Okay, uh, he has no abilities. Basically at level 1 you want to poke, but you also want to wait for your level 3. And now this guy is overly aggressive and also took a tower shot. I think I'm just going to flash on him. He is because... Oh damn it. Shit, fucked up. I fucked up. I thought his stun wouldn't reach me. I don't know what's in my mind. Okay. Probably fucked up. Now, we want level 3 and also we want to stop missing CS so bad. Uh, it, there's no point to fight early like I did now. Now, I, if I dodge his stun, I can probably kill him. And of course, I need to hit my W. Exactly. And now just walk. Ah, uh, shit, that was close. Yeah, he had flash, I knew he has. There's, There was no point. There was no escape for me, I mean. Now we go for the Ruby Crystal and, uh, and also a pot. Basically, at level 3, you can full engage. I recommend to poke versus anyone uh, at level 1, 2. And there's no point to use your E at level 2, there's only at level 3 worth so just go for full Q poke at level 1, 2 and at level 3 try to get the full combo uh, of course keep your exhaust and try to play with it more often or with ghost or whatever spell makes you feel comfortable I play with exhaust because I have to get in range what is this guy doing? I mean, I Okay. Uh, I believe Exhaust is a very good counter to uh, most of the mid laners because they play with uh, Ignite and most of the time you'll deny their damage and there are also a lot of assassins and uh, some mid laners even play with Ghost in higher elo. In lower elos I don't know because I have no idea but probably they would play with Ignite because I believe Ghost is a element that gives you an escape and it's not easier to play with it compared to the Ignite so... <sighs> Let me just watch this for a second uh, Wait, I'll just let you see, okay Wasted way too much time. 
Now our Lancer can roam as easy as me and he has his roaming spell on E so he could do that faster but he also needs 6 to deal some damage. I'll probably help Jin at Jinx at 6. Now what you have to keep in mind is that the also need to farm. I'm going to do this, probably he's going... Never mind, he's still here. Now I'm going to lose... Yeah, I'm going to use this. Basically when you have Catalyst, if you play with this build, you'll have enough mana and HP to duel almost anyone. Uh, and uh, Assassins won't be able to kill you that easier. Now, if you also have Exhaust, uh, Assassins like Zed, Fizz, Diana and Akali won't be able to kill you in full combo and you might get a kill because, uh, because of your poke and then full burst combo. So basically, try to poke, poke, poke till they are like half HP, then full engage. Uh, I'm level 6 now, I'm supposed to gank, or at 7, depends. Um, I'm also watching my gold, so when I have like uh, enough for all the phages, I need to. Let me just show. Oh, wait. I need uh, 1600. And I'm just fucked up to see us. Um, I'll have to back only if I'm low HP or have enough gold for that, so no point faster. And our Lancel just went top, I'll just follow. And that's pointless now, but yeah, we're going to catch him here. Oh, never mind. And we caught both of them. Good. Now I'm going to help bot. You gotta watch the enemy mid laner because you're not allowed to be out roam as Talia. You have one of the strongest roaming potentials because you also have your passive and uh, that gives you incredible advantage over other players and champions, other champions I meant. If you play with Ghost, Talia with Ghost, even, you are even faster to reach certain lanes and spots. Now, my farm is very bad. It's low. And that's because probably I uh, fought early and didn't care much. And when I get kills ahead, I stop focusing that much on farm and try to uh, gain my advantage by getting kills. One, uh, as far as I know, one kill is about 20, 25 CS. Didn't, I, I don't remember quite well the math, but somewhere there so you are kind of allowed to lose some CS but not too many it's, uh, it's actually an attention oh he's go he goes again uh, wait well no never mind he's back and Timo also died he has a weird build basically by this point I'm watching my road of ages and trying to get an ultimate gank up I didn't ultimate before because uh, when I fought near this buff, I uh, didn't need my ultimate. What the actual fuck is on top lane? Oh, wait. Now, I'm stronger than him in this. If she flashes, I'll flash. I didn't. And again, I at using my Q on CS. Maybe I'm still too used to the other 50% uh, damage to <laughs> minions. Okay. You also have to buy vision wars from time to time, especially against high CC junglers. What I forgot to tell you. So, where were we? Uh, first thing I'm going to... Why is Riva level 6? going to uh, help this little chick. Because this girl, oh, let's see where she goes. Ah, the other way, okay. Okay, wasted my flash for no reason because I can't even think straight with the cold. Find them reasons. Now, Leon is 
going around here somehow doing things. Kimo could escape, but seems like he didn't want to. Uh, so, basically, uh, where was I? At uh, I, wa I wanted to tell you that at level three and one, two, three, four, eh, between three and five, you have to be very careful to ganks. There are a lot of good junglers who know that they have a window of opportunity to kill you there, and uh, if you're against Rek'Sai, Gragas, and anything that has a flash, uh, flash gang potential, you could easily die because its their actions are not that easy to uh, maintain. Like, okay, he will flash on you and instantly uh, body slam if it's Gragas, and most of the time, if you don't see him, you won't. I'll be able to predict it, no matter how good you are. And uh, in order to avoid this, you need either vision words or uh, an escape spell or, F or are playing more defensively in general and uh, I this game I had no reason to because Karna has no spells that can kill you early but oh shit uh, but yeah so you gotta pay attention to random gank random gank's options that Okay, got it. Yeah, he's dead. And he flashed. What you want to do is always get your rely and then you'll be able to do big plays as in <laughs> how can I say you need a slow. You need a slow for every one of for each one of your Q. Now when rely will get nerfed, Talia will be uh, in the slight disadvantage. And yeah. What's happening here? And uh, yeah, okay, not going to help him. I'm level ten now and I have my ult up. Now we are basically somehow in mid game, and uh, we gotta analyze, do a short analysis of the game, and we see that their Jinx is the most fed, so that's my number one target. I keep exhaust for her, or either Riven, but she's quite underfed now. Not sure it would be worth. Basically, what I want to do is find her and get her down. Now I see her on map and. She's low HP also. Could try to find her with my ult, and she's here. Basically, I could just go in her, but I see no other opponents on map, and that would be risky as fuck. I still have no rely, uh, and uh, going full aggressive right now would be a mistake. And also a new vision world on map. And he has blue. Right. I want that. Give me that. Okay. Should have out there. Want to chase though? No. Should be flashed. Uh, let's check CS. Yes. Now for minute 15 my CS is quite bad but got the fact that I have 4 kills help helps a lot and yeah I'm not going to near that. <sighs> what I want is to try to get more kills because my late game is basically useless and uh, turns me into a poke bot and I don't like that so I have to get something up you know running like this. Now. I still need to materialize this, I won't just hit this 
Turn back off. I can do better than this. Okay, got the kill. Still not on the right target. Could have focused Jinx there, but it we did fine. I still have exhaust and Skarner is dead now. See what I did? I went on the other side of the wall there. Now it would have been pointless to go in him and exhaust him. That would be a waste. I would have forced him to flash this way and he didn't have flash so I got a kill. You gotta, you gotta know your options when you use your wall. So uh, I'm going to help Rengar now. He's probably dead though. Yeah. Okay, defending here. You also have to manage your uh, work ground because most of the new Talia player probably won't have the reaction to uh, back off when. Oh shit. You gotta notice when you're work ground or not because you have to. You won't deal any damage if you are on that and you know that. So. Yeah, Timo died again. You gotta play an, another type of defensive game and sometimes you have to back off and to deal more damage you have to go back. And that's a hard thing to explain at first to the new players but uh, yeah. You also get the extra movement speed on this ground so that's amazing. And you should stop. I got another one. Okay. Um, I finished my core and now I'm able to fight multiple people without a problem. I noticed their team and only Skarner could possibly kill me. I mean, drag me in their team and kill me. Uh, because. The rest of them, like Riven, might kill me, but it would take a long time because she's not overfed and I also have exhaust. Jinx could kill me too, but first I would kill her because in that range, Jinx is just a marksman, not a burster, and I also have burst and poke. So that makes me basically unkillable to four of them, and only Skarner could possibly kill me, but I will kite him. All I have to do now is anticipate a flash. Oh shit from a Skarner and if I do that then I'll be safe. Mm, don't use ult because you won't kill him. So all I have to do is notice when Skarner comes, their only CC spell <laughs> as I might say, and uh, flash and fight him. Oh okay I can't, I'm not going to come this way. Okay. Pointless. Okay, is she coming here? No, I guess. And I got this again. I'm in a risky position, but I'll do just fine. Also, as a pro tip, if you feel that your farm is low or that you are behind, you can always take your rights and enemy rights because. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Ghost. And... Holy shit, this guy is going strong. How many flashes do they have? have my ult up for like the past. Come on, come on dude. Have no mana. <sighs> I didn't use my ult in some time now and I've seen no point for it so do not use a rule just to waste the cooldown. 
Maybe there was an opportunity, but I didn't fully believe it. Now, a mistake I always do, and I advise you not to do this because reasons. I never upgrade my boots early, and that's because I can kite. I believe I don't need them this early because I can kite, and I believe it's it's stopping me from getting my third item, Rabadons, which allowed me to deal huge amounts of damage. So. Uh, I never upgrade them that quick, but in other scenarios, when it's actually useful, like against this Karner who runs at me and gets a speed item, I would be kind of fucked, so I advise you to upgrade your boots somewhere between uh, Road of Ages and Rely. That would make the most of it, I, be I believe. Not after your third item, as I sometimes do. We got two kills, and... Now, Probably he will flash. I'm lagging. Okay, shit. Uh, I got him. I got him. I got him and also a flash here. No. Shit. Should have gone close to him to have a chance. I fucked up. Mainly because I got too close to Skarner and he didn't even ult me, but. Or did he? I can't remember. And uh, yeah, should have exhausted the Aurelian Salt. Now what I find funny is that Skarner plays with mm, no HP items, only armor. Well, full crit Timo. Did that ever work? Get this Drake, please. Thank you. Going to upgrade rather than first end boots. Me. So, uh, let's do another checkup of the game. I'm good in farm. Good. Mm, not so good by the standard. I should have 2200 200 CS by now, but yeah. I have kills, so that compensates. I also take some rights from time to time to get up and make up for it. Now, I still have to focus their jinx because they will just take advantage at this point, and I'm gone. Got the pot gonna catch this guy and yeah now this wasn't also a good usage of my ult it was pretty bad that's our drinks rocket and we caught them again I'm going to work here and take some more jungle camps No. Your farming in jungle is bloody brilliant because look, just look how quick you can clear. Mm, it's just ridiculously strong your Q and uh, you can easily farm with it and get back in CS if you feel you are behind. This is a general rule and also I have my gold for... Oh, is he on a killing spree like he was under fed as fuck. And one thing you should master as Talia is uh, to simply survive. To, uh, shit. And by surviving, I mean you have to notice when the enemy, or you have to overthink and do a simple mind game with yourself to know when the enemy jungler will come to you and uh, to how to avoid this. Game. Now, against diamonds and low diamonds and high platinums, this is not a certain problem for me right now, but in. Uh, in Master or in High Diamond, um, some people know how to gank better because most of the time you're going smart first. It's easy for them to do that. Oh shit, he's here. Okay. It's harder to uh, predict some of the ganks of some people. Now, this Riven is strong now. If I let her get close enough, could probably kill me, but also. Yeah, I'm not going that close because I don't know where the rest of them are and they might. Shit! I'm dumb. Okay. I'm dumb as fuck. Dumb as fuck. I uh, thought they are doing uh, Baron and... Yeah. I'm allowed to one mistake per game, am I? Please. Or two. Ah, they all die. Because... Rengar is mad. Yeah. 
Oh, where Fedrunga wasn't in the fight. We got them though. And you won't kill him. Now, boots. Although it's tempting to not make them. I need uh, my. Mm, should I make Zonia? I don't think I will make Zonia. Or. Yeah, I'll make Zonia and go. And go over. And jinx. So, now we transition to late game and it's a quite, um, we are quite uh, good near them or over them in gold, but uh, we are not having a huge advantage or so, mainly because we can't group uh, and I'll just type that. I believe we are stronger than them if we kill Jinx and stop feeding her. For some reason, mm, yeah, got him, got the word here, and I also want to help this guy. But I fucked up because why well, I even believe that the Fiora can survive. Okay, rule number 10. I don't know. Do not rely on teammates. Never rely on teammates. Now, I have no reason to flame or to talk bad about her because um, I'm in a normal game. But in a ranked game, sometimes I expect from my top laner to survive more or to do some, I don't know, outplay. As a Fiora, you have your ult and uh, your W, which can keep you alive for a long time, especially against some gems. Well, she has no tank items yet, and so that could have been a problem. <sighs> Why is Team of Fading, though? I'll never understand that. Okay. What next, Sonia? Now. As I said, I have a harder time focusing when I'm talking, but yeah, I did fuck up there in the in the fight. Bill. Come on, why do we engage? We have mm, yeah, she's dead. She has cooldown on her W. Exactly. And now, Skarner got HP, which means I won't even deal that much damage to him. Shit. It's an ultimate coming. Now, this corner is, how can I say, not very smart because any simple HP early item would have rendered me quite useless, so I wouldn't have killed him so easy, easily. Oh, they are doing Drake, might steal it. If somehow they have no words. Oh shit! Okay. Now, why is Rengar doing this? Ah uh, shit. <laughs> How? You jumped over. I have no dash. even coming maybe mm. I have no reason to forfeit this game because I want to explain more and I want I don't care if I win or lose mainly because it's a normal and secondary because I want to explain Never take a vision word without really watching your surroundings. Uh, I didn't see them on the map for a while, they might, they might do it. And they didn't. 
in a ranked game probably I would have been dead by now because you are not allowed to go like this on the map without being punished and uh, wow 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 okay no assist for this guy holy shit that speed yeah he's dead They will go Baron or push me, like believe Baron. Or not. Why would they do an objective? Why would they even do that? And... Go tank that. Now, I'm quite stupid for going this close to Skarner. Because if he has flash... Uh, let's see. I think that's what he wants to do. Got two. And got him. Also, a new team fight now, and I have a shit ton of gold. But I'm still falling in late game, I'm still dealing less damage than I would do with another champion. And by this point, the last item should either be Void Stuff or Leandri, I don't know. Nice. We could. Oh, okay. No, we can't. My farm is still bad for them this minute. Don't uh, don't think it's okay to have this low farm in minute 33. But as I have a lot of kills, it kind of compensates and probably I'm first at gold. Or jinxes, I don't know. Depends on the global gold also. But we have towers, so I guess we are. I am. Uh, now, I have to wait for my ult. Go in a team fight, jump over Jinx, exhaust her, uh, use my combo Zonia, and hopefully, with the help of Rengar, this would have, would be enough. Now, if she flashes or simply dodges, we create a small problem. And what are you doing, Farah? I'm not sure why she tries to randomly fight. I have flash, so I gotta be careful with Connor. And fighting him is not an option. Just kite Riven, kite Riven, kite Riven. Now kite Connor. Skarner has no damage to beat me. And... You should have healed there. Well, Jinx got the inhibitor. That's good. That was worth actually. Didn't know why we are... We aren't strong. We aren't winning. Uh, now... We could even one win or... At least make the fight longer if uh, Ringa would have used his W instead of his E. Would heal, would make him last longer. Anyway. Uh, go Elder, they have no... They need to push top. Try to explain your team why to go to another objective. Because the only reasonable thing to do now is to get this objective. Because... They have a top inhibitor. When they have no bot inhibitor, you go for Baron. Because it's harder for them to reach the distance. It's obvious. Now they might go Baron themselves, but they are not because I've seen Jinx. Wait, top inhibs. Go Drake. Top 
Wait, not minion assignment. Why are you doing this? And now we have to fight here. Yep, that closes the story. Well, they got jinx, it's good. We're still in graph. Everyone is stopped, we stop them. Good. Why are you not killing her? It would have been a free kill, just alt, W, and Q. Nah. Uh. Okay. Holy shit. My eyes. Okay, my eyes. I'm not sure what kind of disease I just got from that. As I said, I'm not that strong now and even our Leon Soul got fed and Riven got fed. Early game they had only one fed champion and that was Jinx. Now it's a little more complicated than that. And yeah, in order to win this, I need my team. Well, we are basically 4 versus 5 with that team because, yeah, you see why. And also Rengar doing shit like this, so oh, it's not helpful at all. Now they go for Baron and I have to fight my way alone. I'm going to do this. And I went too deep. At least I stop Baron. Oh, come on, kill someone. And yeah, we're basically 3 versus 5. My bad. Because neither Fiora nor. Oh, well, Jinx plays. Good. Oh, and they got Baron. Nice, didn't stop anything. But, two buffs are down. That's a progress. That's the sound of progress. Now in a normal game it would have in a normal game with five uh, competent players like with a normal top lane that wouldn't feed to 13 and have at least one tank tank item by now would have and also Timo that you know we would have probably easy win this and trying to at least explain to them that it's not okay to go. Full AD. I mean, I understand the Hydra and the Black Cleaver, but making Humus when you are behind as a third or second item, mean, it's just pointless. Okay, you will die instantly, especially if you don't have the knowledge of a pro Pharah player, which are very rare, by the way. Now we still have a chance with this. And I have to go buy my... Elixir, what the actual fuck is coming? Stop the truck! Christ! And also Raven might come from... Oh shit, should I? Do I have anything to win by going there? That's the question you always have to ask. No, I don't. Because our Leonson is also coming and she used Flash and she's probably going to kill her. See? No point. Just overextending and just suiciding. For no absolute reason, especially when they have fed driven. Now, how can we turn this game around? I could catch Jinx, but I'm not sure if I can even beat her without... Oh shit. Should have flashed on that. Now I go here, because... 
back here. And we got another kill. Nice. Nice. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Got a rush, but to beat this Jinx. No, we're not surrendering, we're actually winning if we play smart. Now, I'm full build. By this point, I'll just go down here. I won't deal any more damage because, well, full build. I could sell something and try to find some value, but still won't make a difference. I could sell my boots, but still, that would be stupid. And buy a Lich Bane because extra AP and movement speed might do that if I believe. Uh, if I believe I have enough room in a team fight to not just run like a maniac. But against Karnar, that's pretty pointless. Look, I don't even have the damage to kill the, their support in one combo. Our land soul has damage to kill Jinx and other in one combo. That's because they built Magic Resist, and Magic Resist is your number one opponent. And not sure if I'm able to do. Shit. Yeah, fucked up. My bad. Well, fucked up big time. Yeah, we are kind of coming back in this because of this maniac. Well, we got something. Grop Death Baron tried to take it if needed. Why is she not using her ult first? might even get a kill. Uh, question, what can I sell to make my damage more viable? Should I go for Leandri? Let me just think. No. Or, yeah, or even has no magic resist. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Well, their Jinx is dead, and they are coming big time on us. Okay, got this one. Everyone is somewhere around. Shit. Help. Help, 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 help. Mm, why did you jump over even? Good, good, actually, it's good. Shit, yeah, you were lucky as fuck, dude. What the fuck? Okay. Nice. Nice. Somehow we win. Even if I fail late game. Ha! <laughs> this guy's finally useful. 19 deaths later. But I hate that animation. It's quite bad. Now, if she, if she dies, we won. And she died. And I think. Yeah, I think we won. Oh, Jinx. No, don't die. Don't die, and we won. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nexus. Nexus. Good. GG, GG. Okay, just kept them long enough. Just tried to get a high advantage to myself, so I can 
kill the enemy team long enough to hold the game to get my team up. That's something you have to try to do. And I've dealt, let me just, holy shit, I'm first at damage. Let me put that to you so you can see it. There you go. Look at the damage I've done now. I believe I can't carry a game solo, so try to get the game in late and try to get your team also fed. No one in the other team dealt more damage than me. And Jinx, their Jinx who was the most fed dealt less damage than our Jinx and less damage than our Rengar and of course me. Now, if you get fed, feed, if you are fed early as I was, try either to go S5 and get a combo on someone and kill it, like catch their support and one shot him and then you have a 5 versus 4 and you can go for it. Or just delay the game long enough till your team gets up or falls to them their misery. So I think I think this video is a pretty good lesson on how to do better on Talia in general and I really really hope it helped you gain some knowledge and who knows. Uh, I hope this helped and I'll post this entire video with a minor uh, thingy that I will remove because I had to pop my nose and you don't want to see that. <laughs> so, have a nice day, week or so and I really hope this video will help. Thank you.